hello good morning everyone um, welcome back again so let's have a look into our positions and chart pattern and what are the decisions we are going to take based on this chart pattern and also we'll see some of the questions what you have asked and I'll try to answer them so coming back to the chart pattern so it has gapped down a little bit and it's showing the bearish sign if I come to 15 minutes chart pattern so it has taken support here and uh, is trying to move but it is going to be range for some time at least and if it breaks this level to the top or to the down we'll see what we can do I, I think we'll also see our stop losses where they are sitting in the combo okay let's get into our positions so this was taken in the last week Friday and we, there is a slight uh, decay in that because of the gap down and uh, currently our m2m is uh, 42,000 slightly over um, 7 percent for the month because our march months we have closed early this week i'll tell you the reason why we have closed early with five percent plus and this is uh, we're sitting at uh, more than two percent here more than uh, around seven and a half percent we have made so far i think we have achieved our seven percent target Let's see how far we can go this month. Um, the reason I exited this, some of you has these questions, and uh, let's me let me answer why I have exited, and I'll go, I'm going to answer some of other questions also. So we have started like this in the March, when market started moving to the right to the upside, this P spread has started giving us profit, and at one point difference between P buy and P sell was less than 100 okay less than 100 and uh, that's the reason we have exited this and once we have exited that we were left with only C spread the C spread will look like this then what is happening with the market started coming down when it started coming down there will be definitely decay in the C sell and also C buy. At one point, we have started selling P from the upside to increase this level profit to get the profit. But once it started crossing our straddle to the down, we have waited to go up and also we have started selling C also weekly, right? And at one point C spread buy leg and sell leg monthly as or difference between them was less than 100 or close to 100 150 is also fine it was fine I mean I have seen somewhere around 150 but is it worth to stay in the same thing and firefighting selling this side small amount selling from this side PE instead of that I have seen good premiums in the month of April so that was one important point I explained why don't we start early and increase this range because we had uh, around 2000 was a decent premium from C cell and P cell okay this straddle and that we hardly get but when go, VIX is very good we we'll get two and a half thousand three thousand also premium but in the current VIX conditions 2000 is very good compared to our March straddle so we have exited March at 5% profit and it doesn't matter whether we are earning from March uh, straddle or April or in fly it does not matter we have now we started earning from April straddle and anyways on week on week we are selling the weekly call and put right based on this that is the reason I switched to April I hope now you understood okay and another question so when you start selling from weekly it will come till this point weekly or this point but at one point this C spread when it is market is going down C is monthly spread will have less premium less than 100 so you can exit that you I mean I don't think till you come here with the weekly sell it this spread will be existing so the shape I mean the position will payoff graph looks like this once you exit 
the C spread you will have only P so you just keep increasing this range by selling C or many other methods once the reversal is there you will get very good profit because you have very good payoff graph here like right let me draw it in the clear way this is very important see first market coming down started coming down uh, you exited C spread and your um, your my payoff graph look like this so P sell and P sorry P sell here and P buy here you might have came closer to attain more premium and once it started reversing no you will book this intrinsic value you will get profit from that and you will have very good profit to the upside and your profit increases to very good extent that's how market most of the time speaking first it goes down and then reverses so you should have some open space to the left right or left based on that you can increase your profit to very good extent okay so in my case of march was happened in the similar way so first the p was decayed and then the c has reversal happened c has given good profit and uh, in the parallelly i started selling uh, c weekly and p weekly also so that's how you can boost your profit but uh, i could have increased my profit further first one week of march i was not at uh, india actually so i could not do much um, that's the reason my profit was at 5% because otherwise in this situation no, both the places I could have increased one more I mean 2 or 3% more in the March spread itself that was very good opportunity for me you understood right first it went to the right and came back to the left I have opened this position to increase the profit but it was okay within 15 days I earned 5% I guess so now we are going slowly let's see whenever the opportunity comes will boost our profit to more okay now we are currently at 45 okay so coming back to the positions once this 44,000 is hits the stop loss so if this is uh, these two becomes equal then at 50 or 70 percent at whichever point this happens I'll exit and then based on the straddle position I will sell P or C okay uh, yeah i mean the other question was also based on this right i have explained multiple times so i think some of you try to i mean re rewatch the videos again watch the videos again and then understand the concept because when the stop loss hits it's it so you can decide the c or p based on multiple factors whether the premiums are equal and we are sitting in the center or to the sitting at the right okay there can be another situation even I have a up, upside view in the beginning because I had taken at 40,000 straddle when we are at 39 so even if the straddle is somewhere here the C and P um, you know premiums will be not equal even at the middle or at this uh, you know to the left so this might have say 800 and this might have 900 even if it is slightly below the straddle so what do you do at this point so you have the option to i mean see the chart pattern if it is trying to make slightly be i mean bullish then you can still sell from p even though it is slightly below the straddle not above the straddle okay and uh, just chart patterns comes very important in this situation okay okay i think i have answered uh, most of your questions that's all for uh, today any questions you just keep adding below the video we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching uh, like and subscribe don't forget to like okay bye bye